Welcome back to Flowers with Sebastian. As you can probably see, all the other ones are ate up, but this one is the most beautiful one. So, this is the bee bum, also known as. I'm not gonna tell you, but let's let's see where the the marigolds will be found. So, marigolds will be found in. Southwestern and also Mexico and also they grow in United States and also South America and also somewhere else somewhere else uh, there's another place they grow uh, it starts with an A Bee bombs, so they're called bee bombs, and also they taste really spicy, and also they're really beautiful. They turn red, they turn red, pink, purple, and also lavender. So we saw some wild ones. They look kind of what? They look kind of wild. They were kind of lavender, and also bee bombs are known as say it, editor. Monarda de Diem. A uh, Diem is not the part of it. We, we're not going to say it on Diem. I think he's known. Bee bombs are known as. Why isn't the door shut? Here, I'll read it. You can shut that door. So do the editor. Do the, the tour editor, Bee bomb. If you're trying to support the diminishing bee population, it's a serious problem. Bee balm is a good place to start. It definitely attracts bees and is also very popular among hummingbirds. The blooms of this plant look so cool in the way that they spread out. This is one of the best native plants you can grow. There are great native options in just about every part of the country, so look for those too. Hit up your local garden center and start bringing in the birds, butterflies, and bees to your yard. Now we have to do the green thumb tip. Like many perennials, bee balm benefit from being divided every few years. So as it multiplies, consider splitting it and sharing it with friends. Your friends get new plants, and you're encouraging the overall health of your bee balm. Now we have to do the... Why does that... Why does it say bonus tip? It's supposed to say... It's supposed to tape... It's supposed to say pop track. Why does it say bonus tip? Uh, wait... Bee uh, balm has a reputation for getting a disease called powdery mildew. The best way to ensure your plant doesn't get this is by making sure it has a good air circulation. Don't crowd it. You can also look for disease-resistant cultivars. If you're probably wondering, why did I say bonus tip? It's not like we don't have a book or anything like that. It's not like we have a book or anything like that. Yeah, there's nothing suspicious as well. There's nothing suspicious. So... And also, bee bombs are tasty. They taste really spicy. Do they? Oh, uh, wait. I can't put my face in there. Uh, continue. <laughs> like and subscribe. You didn't see my face. No, no, no. Let me just, uh, have a little taste and see it, if they're spicy. Yep, they are spicy. Okay, goodbye.